Hello everyone, my name is Dedan Subardani. I'm from College of Science, National Taiwan Normal University. Today I'm going to present an article um, authored by Yang et al. in 2021, published in, uh, published in Environmental Science and Pollution Research. The title is Heavy Metal Concentration and Associated Health Risks in Edible Tissue of Marine Necton from the Outer Fur River Estuary in South China Sea. In introduction, uh, some heavy metal are play important roles in biological system, which come from natural sources, for example, from volcanic eruption, rock, and in other hand, it can be also coming from anthropogenic activity, for example, indus industrial, uh, for example, human activity, sludge, and other things. However, all metal will be toxic when above threshold level. Several is not even needed in the nature. And then marine nectar, including fish, crustacean, and then cephalopod, is a seafood which much consumed by human. It can reduce the risk of stroke and heart disease, as well as other problems. Also, many nectar species has been considered as useful bioindicator of aquatic ecosystem. So there are a lot of heavy metal nearby us. And then the heavy metal in the water and sediment can be accumulated by marine organism and or bioamplified through the food chain, causing hazard via dietary exposure. Subsequently, this pollutant may migrate to and store in human body through ingesting the seafood, resulting in various adverse health effects such as impaired kidney function, poor re reproductive capacity, liver damage, skin and bladder cancer, and even leading to death when above toxic threshold. One of the case study in, in this research is the Perth River Estuary is surrounded by metropolis such as Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen, and some industrial city like Dongguan, Zhongshan, and Zuhui in South China. The industry, commerce, and in agriculture in Four River Delta, PRD, developed for the last past during the last four decades, accompanying with the process reform and opening up in China. The increase is in charge a lot of waste into the environment has led to significant increase of water contamination in PRE. The objective of this study include three things. Uh, number one, to report on the concentration of Hg, which is mercury, and then As, which is arsenic, and then Cd, which is cadmium, and then Cr, chromium, and then Cu, copper, and then Pb, lead, and Zn, which is zinc in the edible tissue of the Mersal Necton from the outer Fur River Estuary. Number two, to prove to, to probe into the accumulation pattern of heavy metal among marine necton group. And then the third will be to evaluate the human health risk of heavy metal by consumption of marine organism. Move to the next part will be material and method. So in sample collection, we have several Sample collection uh, from the Necton nearby uh, the place. So during a fishery survey, a total of 962 sample of Necton organism were collected at 12 station by a bottom trowel fishery ship from the out region of the Fort Reaper estuary in November 2017, as illustrated in Figure 1. The sample include three common marine group which is fish crustacean and then cephalopod 11 fish species four crustacean species and two cephalopod species were sampled in the present study each individual organism of each species were randomly divided into three to six groups and then each group was then stored in polyethylene bag at minus four 
degrees Celsius immediately for further examination. In the laboratory, the frozen marine organism was washed with the distilled and deionized water. Then, considering the dietary habit of local people, the present study was conducted on the edible flesh with the gill and viscera excluded. The muscle tissue were removed and chopped into fists using a thin, clean stainless steel knife. Tissue subsample in one polyethylene were mixed into one sample. The sample were then freeze dried, run gently, and homogenized with a hundred lm nylon mesh sieve. All the freeze dried and ground sample were then stored in minus 20 degrees Celsius for further chemical analysis. The next step is heavy metal analysis. It started by dried and homogenized sample or microwave. In short, um, 0.5 gram of grounded sample were transferred to the digestion tube and then 8 milliliter concentrated HNO3 and then 2 milliliter H2O2 were added. Sample were then digested using the Atos Plus microwave laboratory station. The detailed procedure was 30 and to 200 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes and then 200 degrees Celsius for per for 40 minutes, followed by ventilation for uh, 18 minutes. Then the, then the digested sample were heated until 5 milliliter remain and finally diluted with double distilled water. Concentration of cadmium, copper, lead, and zinc were analyzed by atomic absorption spectros spectrophotometry. Meanwhile, as concentration were determined by flame AAS system along with hydrate paper generator, mercury were carried out by milestone DMA-80 direct mercury anal anal analyzer. Region blank, region blank and duplicate were then throughout the analysis used to evaluate the analysis result. After finishing metal analysis, the next step will be human health risk assessment. So in this step, the human health risks of analyzed heavy metal were evaluated based on the estimated daily intake EDI and then the reference dose RFD and the target hazard question THQ and the formulation suggested by Yusefa in 2000. So exposed to two or more photon might result in additive and or interactive effect. In the present study, the total THQ or TTHQ, which could be calculated by summing the THQ value of individual metal was used to appraise the cumulative health risk of heavy metal. Similarly, when the value of TTHQ is more than 1, there will be adverse health hazard. Conversely, a value of TTHQ less than 1 indicate no health risk. In statistical analysis of the result, analysis of, analysis of variance for the con Concentration of each heavy metal was performed on all experimental data and mean were compared using Duncan multiple range tests with SPSS software. The, sig the significant level was set up at a uh, fee value less than 0 0.05. The statistic software package Primer was used to analyze the similarity of heavy metal in different marine necton species based on bray cartis similarity. The multidimensional statistical software 
Kanoko for Windows 4.5 was employed to evaluate the accumulation pattern of individual heavy metal in marine organism. The next step will be result and discussion. The result on metal concentration in marine actin show some interesting uh, data. The first, relative order of mean metal concentration in three nectin group were as follow. For fish, uh, zinc is bigger than arsenic and bigger than lead, bigger than copper, bigger than chromium, bigger than cadmium, and bigger than mercury. And for crustacean, zinc is bigger than copper, is bigger than arsenic, bigger than lead, bigger than cadmium, and bigger than chromium, and bigger than mercury. And lastly, for cephalopod, zinc is bigger than arsenic, bigger than copper, bigger than lead, bigger than uh, chromium, bigger than cadmium, and then bigger than mercury. Higher concentration of zinc than other metal was found in all examined species indicating a higher demand of this element for marine nectar. As is known to all, zinc is an essential trace element for metabolic process, and the predominance of zinc was also reported in soil, other previous study. One interesting result in this study is, one, the, all the peak happy metal concentration except for lead, were present in crustacean species. For example, Lopos show strong accumulation ability on mercury, um, copper, cadmium, and zinc, while the highest chromium and arsenic value was found in Parapenaes, Pisuroides, and, Solone, and Solenocera alticharinata, respectively. The next part of result and discussion is metal concentration comparison with published data. So comparing with those reported in marine organism from other area, the examine mercury, lead, cadmium, and arsenic concentration in marine nectar from other PRE were in relative high level, while the Copper and zinc concentration were at a moderate level, with chromium concentration being lower than the medium value. According to Zhang and Wang, he argued that the high level of toxic metal found in the studies organism might be ascribed to the intensive anthropogenic activity in PRD region. For ticket, a great amount of individual wastewater, agricultural runoff, and domestic sewage discharge all had lead to a wide contamination of trash metal in this area. According to other study, Rainbow into, in 1993, he argued that the normal level of copper, zinc, and chromium may be explained by the absorption and metabolism ability of this element in marine organism. For example, some urihalin crustacean were observed to regulate the apparent permeability of water to control the absorption of zinc. This slide explaining the analysis of heavy metal among necton group. Heavy metal concentration obtained in different necton group from the outer fur river estuary for each metal mean with the same layer are not significantly different according to Duncan multiple range test at 5% level. The accumulation ability of different metal by fish, crustacean, and cephalopod varied from each other in the present study 
and the comparison of metal concentration among different group was shown in figure. It is significantly higher cadmium concentration was detected in crustacean than in fish and in cephalopod. Arsenic and copper concentration detected in crustacean were significantly higher than in fish. Meanwhile, the concentration of zinc in crustacean and cephalopod were significantly higher than in fish. In addition, based on the heavy metal content in marine nectar, the higher the hierarchical cluster analysis according to Bray Curtis similarity show that nearly all the fish species except for Calionius Calionimus cayanus marked by black dot in the figure cluster in one group with crustacean and cephalopod gather into the other the other one. The figure is explaining Bry Curtis similarity analysis of marine nectar species based on metal content. All of the fish species except for C. cayanus group into cluster 1, while the crustacean and cephalopod group into cluster 2. The figure illustrates the multidimensional ordin ordination of heavy metal contained in marine organism from the outer for river estuary. Number indicates species name. Circle indicate fish, triangle indicate crustacean, and then star indicate cephalopod. Principal component one and two explain 62% and 23% of the total variant respectively. The relationship between heavy metal and marine organism anal analyzed by multidimensional ordination also perform a similar cluster pattern. In addition, based on the ordination diagram, they note that the crustacean and cephalopod organism were likely to accumulate arsenic, copper, cadmium, mercury, and zinc, while fish might more easily accumulate lead and chromium. Generally, crustaceans in this study exhibit higher heavy metal concentration than other two groups because they mainly feed on benthic organisms and are in direct contact with the sediment. The benthic organisms such as polychaetes were reported bearing plenty of zinc and cadmium while the sediments are commonly considered as the most important heavy metal reservoir in marine environment. Similar to, res similar to, the, to the result, high body burden of some heavy metal, for example zinc and copper, were also reported in two Brazilian mangrove crab species and in two shrimp species of Zelin Bay in China. Thus, a conclusion that the metal concentration in marine nectar are affected by their diet and inhabit environment. The next step will be uh, human health risk assessment suggested by, Ch by Chinese national standard as well as the ANHMRC and WHO all the heavy metal in food should not exceed the limit as uh, shown in the table. Thus, except for cadmium in C. sapendis, silophos, and P. argentatus, all the lab concentration of the study metal in the in the tested nectar sample did not exceed the legal limit suggesting a low health risk issue even the heavy metal content in the examine marine nectar were below their guideline the, so the toxic potency depend on exposure dose thus we they carry out a potential human health risk assessment for each analyzed heavy metal by the EDI following the formula. All the parameters other than C are divine in table. And the calculated data on EDI value for the heavy metal examined in the study were displayed also in the table. The higher mean value of EDE was observed for zinc and the lowest was for uh, mercury 
all the EDI value were smaller than their allow daily intake dose suggested by the USEPA. The figure illustrates the target hazard questions and total THQ established through consuming marine necton of the outer fear river estuary. Number we found the box plot indicate the deficient necton species following the table in previous slide. <clears throat> Computed by the formula, all the THQ value of seven test metal were far lower than one, which suggesting that consuming of the tested marine necton did not present any health risk to human. Furthermore, the calculated value of TTHQ were significantly less than 1, again indicating no potential human health risk. In the, pre in the present study, the major and least contribution to TTHQ were cadmium and zinc, with the former metal accounting for 56% and the later metal accounting for 2%. In addition, it should be mentioned that the estimated daily intake of marine necton in coastal city of Guangdong province is 90, 19 times higher than the average Chinese consumption. Considering this, the estimated daily intake of arsenic and cadmium from marine necton will exceed the RFD guideline with the crustacean contributing for 67% of the total THQ. Similar finding were was also reported by Raknuz Zaman in a commercial crustacean in Bangladesh. Thus, more attention should be paid to the potential adverse health effect on consuming crustacean from the outer Fur River estuary. Finally, the conclusion of the article the, contaminate, the contaminated seafood was considered as the most important sources of human being exposure to toxic heavy metal. Therefore, accumulation of heavy metal in necton tissue might directly threat to global public health. The present study investigates seven heavy metal, including um, mercury, copper, lead, cadmium, zinc, chromium, and arsenic in three groups of marine Demersal necton from the outer Pier River estuary in South China Sea. Generally, the mercury, lead, cadmium, and arsenic level tests here were higher than those of published data, while the concentration of the rest for metal were lower than or near the medium level. The detected order of mean metal concentration was as follow zinc is is bigger than copper bigger than arsenic bigger than lead bigger than chromium bigger than cadmium and bigger than mercury and then the concentration of zinc and cadmium in crustacean sample were found to be higher than those in fish and cephalopod sample implying that the concentration level of heavy metal accumulated by necton were related to their di to their diet and inhabit environment and then the metal concentration of all the examined or organized organism were found below the acceptable limit for human consumption suggested by various nation and international authorities all the thq and tthq value were lower than one indicating that human health risk of heavy metal exposure to those marine necton species could be, could be negligible. Negli 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 Considering the higher consumption of marine or organism in Guangdong province, local people should control their intake of crustacean food from the outer VRE.